Good afternoon, everyone. This is Father Rob, pastor of Nativity of Mary here in Janesville, Wisconsin. I'd like to welcome all who are returning to come and pray this afternoon. And for all those who are new, if you're just coming and just kind of discovering us for the first time, or maybe you've heard about our page, but in the parish and you never officially visited before and you're here, welcome. Glad you can join us for prayer time today. So again, this is a vehicle that we use in this um, time of uh, stay at home, where even though things are opening up a little bit, that we're really encouraged to as much as possible to, to stay home and for our own health and benefit, uh, unless we need to go out to go somewhere. And part of that is our prayer life. So part of this has also sort of been, as a result of that, a ministry for us to be together to support one another in prayer and also to, um, uh, for us to pray for all of our intentions, lift up our hearts to God, and, uh, and lift them up and join them in prayer. And I'm smiling because, uh, unfortunately, I have somebody who got out of their um, office here, Faustina is here, so we'll try to do this prayer with her, despite her presence here with us. She's the one who runs the parish, really, not me. Even though I've been ordained 20 years, I know who really is in charge. So this afternoon, <clears throat> I guess since Faustina is going to join us in prayer here, hopefully she'll be quiet, is today is the Memorial Day of St. Augustine of Canterbury, if you see in the title. And he was uh, actually a very great missionary at the time where right where the Roman Empire was collapsing, and you sort of had the birth of, I think I would call really the early Middle Ages, but a lot of historians have to call it the Dark Ages. Um, I'm not really big on the Dark Ages just because it seems to imply that nothing is, is going on and um, there were lots of things that were going on. So one of the things in the, what? Okay, we're going to see who wins out in this battle here. Anyway, getting back to St. Augustine. So the church was spreading throughout the world at that time, was going beyond the boundaries of the Roman Empire, and one of those areas was actually where part of the Roman Empire was, but it was very not exactly a strong presence, that was the island of Britain. So the Roman Empire did extend all the way there, and so with the collapse of the empire, you had a lot of its structures fall, uh, the military had been withdrawn, and so they were asked, uh, the Pope had asked that missionaries be sent to the peoples of Britain uh, to strengthen the Christians who were there and to evangelize to the Celtic peoples of that area. So St. Augustine, who was born during that time, really about the 500s, was sent by Pope St. Gregory the Great, one of the only three popes to be called the Great, at least, uh, well, two officially. That would be St. Gregory the Great and St. Leo the Great, both popes. And then there's the third person that uh, we've been talking about a lot lately, and that is uh, Pope St. John Paul II, and has been referred to, at least by Pope Benedict, uh, as the Great. So I have a feeling he'll be number three, uh, you know, in fact, as well as in name here soon. So, any case, uh, so Augustine was sent up to the British Isles to evangelize there, and interestingly enough, he was very afraid for his own personal safety. He was afraid for his companions with him because he had heard stories of the wild Celtic peoples of the islands, and there was some truth to that, quite honestly. If you read the stories of St. Patrick, uh, there is some credence to that. And so St. Augustine actually turned around and went back to Rome which uh, I did confess Rome is a nice place compared to Britain. The weather's nicer, the food's better. Britain, the weather is kind of crummy and the food, well, that's up to you. But uh, in any case, so uh, not Leo, Gregory heard about that and he told Augustine, don't be afraid, march right back to where you were going and go to Britain, which Augustine eventually did. And eventually that uh, he, through a lot of labors, um, he ministered to the peoples who were there and also that um, he was successful to some degree in reaching out to the, uh, I was going to say Celtic, but Celtic is sort of a wide sort of meaning as far as being, giving an overgeneralization because there were different tribes in Britain at that time and I don't want to get too deep into those weeds. But needless to say, he went to the native peoples of the British Isles and proclaimed the gospel and really set the seeds for uh, English Catholicism that would strengthen over the centuries uh, and continuing to really to about the Reformation, and then we get into the big split, which is a whole other story with Henry VIII and Thomas More and St. John Fisher. But we'll save that story for another day. So speaking of evangelization, um, we pray for uh, one of those things that's easy to talk about evangelization is really our fears that we have. 
our fears that we have, and to proclaim the Word of God. I know I talked to Esteban yesterday about my ordination to the priesthood, and uh, it's never been easy to be a priest, and it's not easy to be a Christian in these times that we're living in, because we feel like we're living in a, to kind of push the analogy here, of living in, we're not in pagan Britain, but in some ways we do live in a very uh, secular society today, that Christian uh, ethic, the culture that is guided by the gospel ethic, as Archbishop Sheen said decades ago, is dead. Christianity isn't dead. But the culture that is guided by the gospel ethic is finished. And he said this back in the 1970s. So that's a long time ago. So now as missionaries ourselves, it's sort of like St. Augustine's, to ask the Holy Spirit to help us to uh, proclaim the gospel in word and in deed. In word and in deed. And part of that is going to be our, our fears that we have. Knowing what not only what to say, but how to say it and when to say it. People ask me sometimes, saying, Father, you know, I, I'm in a situation where I'm in this family and uh, you know, I want to um, be a witness to them, maybe uh, defend the faith of them. They're hostile. How do I handle that? And there's really not an easy answer, a one-size-fits-all answer that I can personally give to something like that. But I do believe the Holy Spirit, which guided St. Augustine, um, will give us doors and openings to a time in which we can be a witness one way or the other to a family member, a friend, maybe somebody that you know at work that might be hostile to our faith, and just be a loving presence for them. And sometimes, in my experience, and I'm sure that St. Augustine had better luck than I did, but sometimes it, you, were, you and I are just the ones that plant the seeds, quite honestly. We plant the seeds, and that might be just my job, and then the next priest after me he might be the one who will water the seeds, and then another priest after him or that person's life can be the person to reap the harvest. I've seen that happen a number of times before in my own priesthood. And uh, so don't, don't feel like if you are going to witness, if you're going to be an example, do not be dejected, do not be saddened if you talk and then nobody, and they say, I don't, have any, don't want anything to do with Christianity. <laughs> Give it time. Christ, a good shepherd behind me, he certainly gave his apostles time because they lived with Jesus for three years and they were very slow to believe and slow to understand what he was talking about, even on the night of the Last Supper, even at the Ascension. And, uh, and yet, Jesus still walked with them, Jesus was understanding, and the Lord just simply led them along, loved them, and little by little was leading them to understand the truth. And that's where the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters, comes in for us. And part of our prayer together is that we open ourselves to God. Our prayer opens ourselves to God more and more. And to allow that space of the Holy Spirit to, to guide us, to shape us, and to give us that strength in our, our faith, our own faith, and also to us to brighten our light to others. So that's really the purpose of our prayer life. When we gather, for example, for rosary, it's for our own continuing conversion, but also is to give us strength so that we, we might be faithful to what Jesus asks us, as he asked Pope St. Leo the Great, Pope St. Gregory the Great, and by extension St. Augustine of Canterbury today, is to go, all to, to go to all the nations and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Excuse me for a minute, somebody's not being very, somebody's being naughty. All right, you, okay, for those of you who want to see, here it is. This is the person who runs the parish. Now she's going to get down. Because she's not going to leave the rosary. I'm going to have to do that myself. So anyway, um, prayers. So we have quite a number of things to pray for this afternoon. First of all, let's pray for missionaries at this time. Missionaries, first of all, in our country, the United States. Um, some of you might be familiar with the Focus Missionaries. And I don't mean uh, the wedding program, but uh, talking about those who have been on campuses throughout the United States. Um, I've known some people who... Uh, were in that ministry. Actually, I knew family members who were Focus Ministries ministers themselves and ministered to people on college campuses. So let's pray for those to support them uh, spiritually in their uh, work and proclaiming the gospel to places that need it, particularly universities, uh, when people are young people are searching. And that's admittedly the time where many of them drop away from the church is after they leave the discipline of, of 
Catholic school or leave the discipline of home and they have all this freedom and then all of a sudden you have these questions, that's an important battleground. So let's pray for our missionaries who work on our college campuses. We pray for missionaries and religious orders throughout the world, that the Lord might bless them in their work, whether they be clergy or be lay people, um, uh, helping and ministering to the poor, working in schools, um, in whatever capacity they may serve in other countries outside the United States to pray for them. I'm always reminded, of, for example, of uh, people who have come to speak, at least here in Nativity of Mary, who have ministered in other countries on mission appeals, who have been to the Caribbean or have been to Latin America, and the pictures they show are just uh, unbelievable in terms of the poverty, but they also share, in part of their ministry, they also share the beauty of the people that are there. So let's uh, pray for them and pray for their efforts. Pray for our bishops during this time, for our, our bishop, Donald Hying, and for all of our bishops as we continue this transition of trying to pray publicly. And uh, as I've been trying to do this week, it's been very challenging in a lot of different areas. I I'm not going to get going on it, but uh, let's pray for our bishops because I know they get it from all sides and trying to balance the need to worship, but also the need for us to be safe at the same time. So let's pray for that. Um, also to uh, pray for up again for our doctors and nurses, healthcare workers who uh, serve us and who, any who help us to be safe and serve those who are ill. So let's pray for them today. And um, somebody else is here who wants to say hello, but she needs to get off. Uh, somebody's not listening. And uh, I should have locked her away. I apologize for the distraction because I'm getting distracted myself now. But uh, in any case, so let's uh, make the sign of the cross together. And whatever intentions you have, we'll lift them up to the Lord. Um, I also want to pray for a family member of mine who's going through serious heart surgery today for, uh, for wisdom to the doctors and nurses to uh, take care of him, to guide their hands in surgery, and uh, for his uh, family uh, today. And uh, for all your intentions, we pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we give the Apostles' Creed, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and of earth. And in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, for there he will come <clears throat> to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. For the increase of the theological virtues of faith, of hope, and love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The five glorious mysteries, the most holy rosary on this day, the first glorious mystery is the resurrection of our Lord Jesus from the dead. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of our Lord Jesus into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit upon our Blessed Mother and the Apostles. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fourth glorious mystery is the assumption of Our Lady's body and soul into heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, <laughs> ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. The fifth mystery, glorious mystery, is 
the coronation of our Blessed Mother as Queen of Heaven and of Earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, excuse me, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. <clears throat> Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us in the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most need of thy mercy. Amen. And now together we will pray the final two prayers of our Holy Father for this month of May, which is almost over, which is hard to believe. You can find those two prayers, and you can follow along with me if you like. They are uh, included in, again in the letter on the month of May to the faithful, written by Pope Francis in late April. And those two prayers are at the end. So we'll do both prayers. So if you want to join me, that's fine. If you don't know it in spirit, just pray with me. Let us pray. O Mary, you shine continuously on our journey as a sun of salvation and hope. We entrust ourselves to you, O health of the sick, who at the foot of the cross were united with Jesus' suffering and persevered in your faith. Protect us of the Roman people. You know our needs, and we know that you will provide, so that as at Cana in Galilee, joy and celebration may return after this time of trial. Help us, O Mother of Divine Love, to conform ourselves to the will of the Father and to do what Jesus tells us. For he took upon himself our suffering and burdened himself with our sorrows to bring us to the cross through the joy of the resurrection. We fly to your protection, O Most Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always in every danger, O glorious and ever-blessed Virgin. Amen. And for the second prayer. We fly to your protection, O most holy Mother of God. In the present tragic situation, when the whole world is prey to when the whole world is prey to suffering and to anxiety, we fly to you, Mother of our God and our Mother, and seek refuge under your protection. Virgin Mary, turn your merciful eyes toward us amid this coronavirus pandemic. Comfort those who are distraught and mourn their loved ones who have died and at times are buried in a way that grieves them deeply. Be close to those who are <laughs> concerned for their loved ones who are sick and who, in order to prevent the disease, the spread of the disease, cannot be close to them. Fill with hope those who are troubled by the uncertainty of the future and the consequences for the economy and, the, and, and employment. Mother of our God and our Mother, pray to us for us to God, the Father of mercies, that this great suffering may end and that hope and peace may dawn anew. Plead with your divine Son, 
as you did at Kena, so that, the, so that the families of the sick and the victims be comforted and the hearts be opened to confidence and trust. Protect those doctors, nurses, health workers, and volunteers who are on the front line of this emergency and are risking their lives to save others. Support their heroic effort and grant them strength, generosity, and continued health. Be close to those who assist the sick night and day, and to priests who, in their pastoral concern and fidelity to the gospel, are trying to help and to support everyone. O Blessed Virgin, illumine the minds of men and women engaged in scientific research, that they may find effective solutions to overcome this virus. Support national leaders so that with wisdom, solicitude, and generosity, they may come to the aid of those lacking the basic necessities of life and may devise social and economic solutions and fire by, inspired by farsightedness and solidarity. Mary Most Holy, stir our consciences that the enormous funds invested in developing and in stockpiling arms will instead be spent on promoting effective research and how to prevent similar tragedies from occurring in the future. Beloved Mother, help us realize that we are all members of the one great family and to recognize the bond that unites us, so that in the spirit of fraternity and solidarity, we can help to alleviate countless situations of poverty and need. Make us strong in faith, persevering in service, constant in prayer. O Blessed Mother Mary, consolation of the afflicted, embrace all your children in distress, and pray that God would stretch his all-powerful hand and free us from this terrible pandemic so that life can serenely resume its normal course. To you, shine in our journey as a sign of salvation and hope we entrust ourselves, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Amen. St. Augustine of Canterbury, pray for us. St. Faustina, pray for us. St. John Paul II, pray for us. And Our Lady, undoer of knots, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So let's continue to keep each other in prayer during this time as we wait for the coming of the Holy Spirit that energizes us, that will help us, and hopefully will continue to guide us through this difficult time of our stay at home, managing things to going somewhat back to quote normal, and helping us also to come back to some kind of semblance of public worship. So let's pray for the Spirit's gift of wisdom as the Spirit guided St. Augustine of Canterbury. So Mass will be again tomorrow at 8.15 a.m. and Rosary once again at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So always remember again that our Lord loves you, that Our Lady loves you, and God bless you all on this day, and we will see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.